Hello, I'm Benjamin LeFaber, and I am working with Javier and Ryan to create a new musical instrument. This project is the exploration of the use of biological forms in order to be able to modify the timbre and sound of different musical instruments. The result of this project, the Choya horn, as you might have guessed, is exploring the use of Choya bones in order to be able to create a horn style instrument, similar to a bugle. The reason that we're using Choya is particularly because of its own form of itself. It has many undulations along the course of the entire bone structure, normally resulting in holes that we were able to fill over. In order to kind of modify the sound, it creates a resonance in the piece that just changes, gives it a more undulating, more unusual sound. The process of creating this horn has actually been a little bit intensive. First off, we need to, of course, gather the Choya bones from the desert, after which we need to go about making a 3D scan of them, particularly the MakerBot digitizer. Once we have these digital scans, we go about taking these into some sort of 3D package to go about modifying them. I've been using MeshLab and Maya in order to be able to manipulate all the pieces around, lining them up into the shape of a horn, and then filling them in so that we have an actual full solid cylinder that we can work with. We give it a nice conical shape in order to be able to compress the musical range down to a manageable size, and then go about adding a bell at the end so that we have, again, a nice conical shape to increase the musical range. Once we have all that lovely data together in a full 3D model, we'll go about printing it on one of the uh, computer uh, printers here. Once that has been printed, in sections of course, because it's going to be a larger instrument than it can be printed on their bed, we'll piece it all together using super glue and all that lovely adhesive stuff, and test it testing down to the tune, the sound, any sort of quality that we would like from it. This instrument has come out pretty well, I would say. It has a nice soft, mellow tone, using undulations that are found within the choya bone in order to be able to create a more unusual, ambient, kind of woozy-woozy sound, for lack of a better term. Because, of course, we all have technical terms here. Uh, now that the project is complete, we are hoping to go on and make a full cast instrument out of this that will be using Choya wood in order to be able to have a more intricate woody sound to it rather than the plasticky sound that we currently have. That's our current project, and check in later to see how it goes.